Hello, friends. Miguel the Gnome here. We're here, uh, and we're going to be experimenting with this picker. A picker allows for wool to open up and become luscious and bouncy. Makes it easier to lay out whenever we're doing things. So essentially, we're going to take the wool, looking from something like this. Just kind of crinkle it up and all matted together. We're going to turn it into this magical fluff ball. So we've already been going at this for a minute. Decided that people at home might want to know about it. So we're going to do a little video. We'll see how this goes. So it's not very hard. This thing here has all these nails in it. It's pretty sharp and crazy dangerous. Uh, so what we do, we use this guard, that way we don't hurt ourselves. And we feed the wool into the picker, making sure that we don't get our hands, but it's inevitable. You do get some parts of your hand. And uh, so we pick at it like this. So wool does not need to be picked. Wool can be worked spread out by hand. There's even uh, small pickers, you know, a little bit more handheld ones. One like this one goes for several hundred dollars. And it could probably be made at home pretty well. This one is currently owned by West County Fiber Arts in Sebastopol, California. And they have so delightfully opened up their workshop space for the gnomes and I to make a little bit of magic. They have their whole setup here that's just perfectly designed for large production work of fiber and they've since opened that up to us. Pretty cool. So now we get to have access to some machines kind of like this. This is cool. And the gnomes growing up. So, pick it all like this, you know, nice and floppy. I think I'm just going to go ahead and just do the whole, you know, kind of trying to be conservative and not do all of it, but you know what? Might as well do it. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit what's going on here. So down here, you can see how there's still some fiber that's connected to the nails. That's stuff that's kind of getting stuck currently. So if you just take it out, refeed feed it in, it comes out on nice, nice and puffy. I'm gonna show you guys what the final result has been for the work that you saw. Pretty much looks like this. Magical, nice, puffy ball. Different colors. Yeah. So friends, that's a small little peek into what a wool picker looks like and how it works. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'm happy to answer. Have a wonderful day.